Okay, let's talk a little bit more about attaching rebar. Basically, rebar runs through and needs to be spliced together as it runs through your, your uh, footer forms. We got these little wire ties, and then we've got this little tool here that helps you uh, just uh, twist them quickly. So what I'm doing right now is I'm running the grounding rod for my home. Um, according to how my electrician wants it, it's going to be about a six, uh, five foot stub that comes up uh, right near the electrical panel. So here's how we do it. I'm not very good at this, but uh, if you can see me, you just bend that around till it comes together. You stick this through and then you just twist and it locks them right together. Okay, okay here it's uh, like September 9th or 10th or something like that, 2009. And I've been working with Joe this weekend and we got uh, all the way up to the top bond beam. Um, didn't get it quite done, but got a lot of the headers put in for uh, to hold the lintels uh, when we pour them with concrete. Walls are tall now. Got my work out for the day, that's for sure. Again, this is the kitchen and the living area, and that'll be the patio out there. Whew, I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. And the bonus rooms. Okay, it's June, like June 3rd, 2010. We just finished getting the logs on the roof, and I'm kind of at the pinnacle up here, taking a look. We've adjusted them into plane and then now we have to strap them down and do all the concrete and can in between them which you can see uh, between those logs right there. And of course some of them were ground down to yellow to the bare wood like these. And some of them we left the patina of the dead standing lodgepole pine like these. And you can see the 6x10 beam, beams that go lengthwise across the house, east to west, and that's what I'm standing on right now. Got our top cut out. screw it into place. 